Good fine evening, Facebook. How you cool cobras doing? So I had just enough money today to do what I needed to do. I did have the money from the first half of the wand sales transferred a bit late on Friday. So there's a good chance it'll either get here Tuesday or Wednesday. But the second half of my wand sales transferred and I used the second half of my wand sales to do what I gotta do. And there were two tubes that got returned to sender. So, I'll get those shipped out when I get the second or first half, you know. Good fine evening, Dana Smith, how you doing? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, that Bond Tactical Pheromone Soap that I ordered Oh, dude, you got to get yourself some of that. And maybe not the Bond. They got different flavors, too. But I like the scent that Bond Tactical Soap produces. It's some good smelling shite. Hell yeah, that's what's up. do what I gotta do. What I mean by that is I got the wands that customers ordered from this batch shipped out. So presuming that the second or the rest of that money comes in tomorrow or Wednesday, that should be enough to get stuff to make the burger for YouTube and ask that chick out. Yeah, yeah. I might be able to work something like that out, David. Hell yeah. The thing you gotta realize, fellas, is you gotta be nice to women even if they're not nice to you. And the reason I say that is as soon as you respond to their negativity or their backlash or what have you, you get pigged and played off as a typical male and that's completely sexist and unfair, especially when she started it. But at the same time, you got, you know what I'm saying? And men do that shit too. It's fucking petty. You know, the dating scene would suck a lot less if people were nicer to each other. People wouldn't have to go months without having it or traveling a long distance just to get it. It was almost like midnight when I transferred the first half of that one money and Etsy doesn't transfer money on the weekends. The second half of that one money was scheduled to deposit on Monday and it did and I was able to do what I gotta do. So hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday it should be in, theoretically speaking, because it wasn't in there when I checked my account earlier. So I'm hoping that that chunk of change show up when it do. And if it don't show up, then what the hell? I guess I'll have to make another batch of ones. Well, I'm going to do that anyways, but 
you know, does it, they say it usually takes three to four or three to five business days if it's, and they don't do it on weekends, but usually if it's not on the weekend, it shows up first thing Monday of that same or next week. So, yeah. I'm watching the new episode of Bob's Burgers and I got a kick out of the Etsy reference they made. And then they dropped my first name in the episode. I was like, ah, that's fucking great. Uh, And polish off this cigar right quick. I'm gonna crack that window. There we go. Crack that window on one of the sweatshirts. Really, the only thing that separates men and women is their genitalia and their personalities. Men tend to be a bit more physical and women tend to be a bit more emotional. I don't know why. And sometimes it's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes men are more emotional than, you know what I'm saying? It really just depends on the situation and the circumstances. Now, the only reason I did what I did with the dating scene is because I've noticed that at first glance, most women won't give me a chance just because I'm goth. They see the creepy goth exterior and they're just like, whoa, who the fuck is this guy? You know, but I'm not here to judge. So when people judge me, it's like, you know, that's your loss. I can meet the nicest person you ever met or I could be the worst person you ever fucked with. It really depends on how you treat me. And most of the time I got bigger fish to fry. So if someone's fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Might buy me a definitely gonna buy me a lottery ticket if the lottery's still up when I get my second or the rest of my wand money, I should say. Because that would be the only reason why it didn't show up in on Monday. It's probably because of how late it was when I transferred it. That's the only thing I can figure. Um, nope, I'm sober at the moment. Hmm. You know what's really interesting? I'm getting a friend request from somebody and how much do you want to bet? <laughs> how much do you want to bet? Hmm. Confirm request, let's see. Is this my dad or is it a troll account? It is a troll account. 
unfriend. Because how much you want to bet? Yep, someone's pretending to be my dad on Facebook. That's pretty lame, dude. I want to go ahead and let my dad know that he's being impersonated on Facebook. That's some bullshit, dude. Like, these trolls have no freaking life. Some one is... In her, yeah, dude, this isn't my dad. This is some asshole pretending to be my dad, more than likely. Someone is fake. -ing. Your. Okay, okay, okay. What else? Like, I don't know why trolls would do this shit. Like, this is ridiculous, dude. I bought one pizza, and that's it. I buy one pizza and I'm getting a lecture. You said you were going to stop and you bought more. Whatever, dude, I'm not gonna argue about this shit. I buy one pizza because I was craving it. Just one, and I stopped there. It's not like I went and bought a shit ton of pizza here, people. I bought just one. And I'm getting an ass chewing for it. I, I'm like, I, I buy one freaking pizza, just one. Okay, I wasn't gonna buy a shit, I didn't buy a shit ton of pizza, I bought just one. And I'm getting an ass chewing for it. Like, what is this? Like, I'm sitting here making the money off these wands. <laughs> I'm, I got someone impersonating my dad on Facebook. Someone's faking his account. So how much do you want to bet? Dana Smith says, I think people are just as concerned as you are with your spending. I don't think it's malicious. Well, I just like how, you know, I can't spend my hard-earned one money on one fucking pizza without getting my ass chewed. This is exactly my point. I mean, I love my dad, but Jesus Christ, dude. You know, and that's the thing of it is sometimes my parents will buy a pizza for dinner once in a while. But people assume that, oh, I buy one pizza, I want to start buying a bunch of them now. No, dude. No. It was one fucking pizza, like, Jesus Christ. Oh. 
Well, he's not really chewing my ass. Oh, he's calling me a dumbass for spending money on pizza. And it's like, okay, all I did was buy one pizza. But I'm not here to argue or fight. Nah. Nah. I'm not here to argue or fight with nobody. I'm fucking tired of that shit. I fight with people on YouTube all the goddamn time, it seems like. And I want to buy like one freaking pizza. And it's not like, you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know what I'm saying? that It's not like I want to do what I did the last time where I spent all of it on, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I don't want to fight with people on social media, let alone my, my own parents, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's stupid. It really is. Like, Seriously? Oh my fucking God. You see, I'm 27 years old and I get where my dad's coming from, but at the same time, I'm tired of being treated like a child, dude. Like. <sighs> You gotta start saving. Well, duh. So I guess I'm not allowed to control, I'm not allowed to touch any of my money. Is, is this what it's come to like? Like, <sighs> you don't know that, Dad. Like, seriously. No, but you're going to spend all your wand money on pizza, booze, and cigars again. You've done it five times now. Jesus fucking Christ. I buy two cigars and one pizza, and people just fucking assume like oh my god dude <sighs> one this was all i planned on spending on pizza and cigars two i'm not gonna spend it all on booze pizza and cigars okay and three i don't know why we're having this fucking discussion on social media this is bullshit <sighs> Like, I can't have a little bit of fun with my money. I mean, this is bullshit. I'm the one going out there, collecting sticks, taking the time to methodically sand them and carve them. It's okay, but but you really need to get rid of that dog collar as well. Your mom said she doesn't think you wash it well. And here we go with that.
Well, how do you like that? It's not, guess what? It's not my dad. It's the troll account talking to me. Ha! I figured it out. Hold on a second. I figured this shit out. It's the fucking troll account pretending to be my dad. My real dad's not, oh my God, that is so pathetic, dude. That is so fucking pathetic. So some troll was pretending to be my dad and lecturing me. What the fuck, dude? I'm sitting here going, really? Why are we having this discussion? Wow, dude, that is so beyond messed up. I'll just do that. And as soon as my dad's real account sees that, holy shit. Wow, dude, that's beyond fucking stupid. I'm sitting here going, what the hell? No, for real, Facebook, I'm sitting here going, what the hell? Yeah, indeed, who the fuck? Okay, like, if you don't like my videos, that's fine. But impersonating my father on Facebook and then lecturing me like he, oh, dude, that is such bullshit. Get a life, trolls. Telling me that I need to wash my dog collar and get rid of it because blah, 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 blah. Wow, dude. <laughs> now, I bet you the trolls are watching this video live right now. They want me to react to it, but here's me reacting to it. Here's me reacting to it. See my middle fingers? Here's me reacting to it. The things people will do to bully somebody with autism on the internet because they think it's funny. <laughs> like, how thick do you have to be? When I clicked on the person who was chatting me up pretending to be my father, it took me to the troll's fake account. I blocked that person and then sent the message to my real dad saying, hey, this person, just click on the link and you'll see what happens. Like, how thick do you have to be? This is the kind of crap I put up with on a daily basis just for being myself. <laughs> like, okay, it's one thing. You don't like my videos? Fine. Then don't watch them. But pretending to be someone's dad and fake lecturing them on social media just to fuck with them? Like, what kind of bullshit is that, dude? Now, the person who did it, ask yourself, how would it feel if someone did that to you, huh? Put yourself in my shoes. Oh, that'd be great. You'd have my fame and success, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. But you'd also have to put up with assholes like yourselves. Fuck the cunt you crawled out of. Like, seriously, I feel sorry. <laughs> I feel really, really sorry for the people who are your parents because they raise rotten little shits that troll people with autism. My dad says, thanks, reported it. Oh, yeah. Think my dad's going to be happy about this when someone's faking his profile on Facebook to lecture me? Fuck no. My dad's going to be pissed about that shit. <laughs> yes. Fucking yes. Oh, my God, Dana Smith. That was brilliant. Dana Smith says, these idiot trolls are just jealous that you own your own business and you are a celebrity. Bored cunts. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that is awesome. Well, Christian Danger Coffee, let me fill you in on the latest troll debauchery that is the King Cobra JFS life. 
I had some troll create a fake account pretending to be my birth father. Yes, I said it. There was a troll creating a fake account pretending to be my father, sending me a friend request, and then lecturing me on Facebook. I'm like, wait, I'm already friends with my dad on Facebook. Something don't add up. What's up with this? That was my first clue. My second clue was the lecture on the whole dog collar thing. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, fuck this. Pretty much. Someone impersonated my dad and told me, oh, you're just going to blow your money on booze, cigars, and pizza. <laughs> and I'm like, dude. And then he turned around and says, I want to take some of your wand money out for rent. And I'm like, excuse the fuck out of you. Could these trolls suck my dick any harder? Seriously, I don't think they could if they tried. Wow, dude. That was some bull fucking shit. These Trader Jacks are like $2.25. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So you're spending like four fifty for two of them. That's not bad at all. It's nice to have a cigar on occasion, especially when you're celebrating being a successful wand maker. <laughs> oh, for sure, Dana Smith, for sure. She says it's time to go troll hunting. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it, man. These trolls will get what's coming to them. Eventually, they learn not to fuck with me because my demon, fr my demon friends will take care of them. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. <laughs> I handled that trolling like a fucking champ. And the reason why is because I'm used to this crap. These assholes that harass me on a daily basis have completely desensitized me to bullying. So for that, I thank my trolls. So thank you, trolls of mine, for desensitizing me to bullying and for being such huge supporters of what I do, for being so jealous that you impersonate my father on Facebook because you wish you were as cool as me. <laughs> uh. See, this is why I don't introduce my girlfriend to social media. I learned real quick with Summer that that's not a good idea. And Summer was a sweet girl, but these trolls are like, you know. And Summer broke up with me because she couldn't handle dating a YouTube celebrity. That's perfectly understandable. I don't hate her for that. Quite the contrary. I appreciate her being honest with me about that. Instead of just being in a relationship and being miserable because of it. So if I'm lucky enough to date a girl in the near future, you know what I'm saying? Which is unfortunate because trolls know that people with autism struggle in social situations. And getting a girlfriend is a social situation. So anytime I get a girlfriend, it's super fucking awesome. It shows the world that just because I have Asperger's don't mean shit. And it's kind of ins inspiring in its own special way, you know? 
and they see it's a good thing for me and they they can't handle it they can't see me be happy or successful it fucks with them these assholes are triggered by how awesome i am and that's the funny thing of it too facebook i ain't gotta say a goddamn thing to piss nobody off i piss people off just being me i love it I freaking love it. And here's the best part. This trolling no longer gets to me. It just feeds my fucking ego. So, yeah. Ooh, we you got to love trolls, man. Aren't they just the most adorable losers you've ever met? Uh, you know, as soon as my dad saw that Facebook page, he reported it. So your, your trolling lasted about, what, maybe a couple seconds? I started putting two and two together, and I'm like, wait a second. I've never once heard my dad say, you can't spend your one money on cigars and pizza. Like, what the, f you know what I'm saying? True, I might have gone a bit overboard with the pizza at one moment, but I was having a pizza craving. <laughs> so fucking sue me already. God damn. Damn. Thank you for saying that. That right there is Cobra Craft Wand testimony. Ben Dobbins says, Josh, I took my wand to the poker table tonight and won $200 in 30 minutes. Well... To be fair, Chris, I got a good deal at Papa John's. Extra large, two topping for $10. Which is bigger than Little Caesars, but a little bit more expensive. Hmm. Good point, Carla. Maybe when I win the lottery one of these days. I mean, that's a pretty good deal, dude. I'm just saying. Because normally, an extra large costs more. And Papa John's is the only place that carries anchovies for their pizza anymore, like I said in my last live stream. Have I won anything recently? No, but maybe I'll win the lottery one of these days. That'd be nice. Okay, Parker Jackson, I will fill you in because you missed on what's going on. Somebody impersonated my dad on Facebook, and while impersonating my father on Facebook, proceeded to lecture me about stupid shit. And at first... But then when I clicked on it, the way they had it set up, they were really, you know what I'm saying?
Can you read us what fake Clint sent you? Oh, you know, it was stupid shit like, you need to get rid of your dog collar. Mom thinks you don't even wash it. And you're just going to spend all your money on booze and pizza. And cigars. <laughs> Yeah, stupid shit like that. Well, it should be. You know, I mean, if you don't like my videos, fine. But impersonating my one of my parents on Facebook just to lecture me and all that, that's crossing the line, bud. I'm just saying. Oh, well, they were trying pretty hard, but I figured it out. Yep. It's pretty pathetic. It is, it is. But it is what it is, dude. Anyways, I'll check at you, Cool Cobras, in a minute.